This blows, this blows my mind. And uh, it was just a great thing. I, I had a little dog like that. Not that big though. Not that color. Not, not that gender. Not that furry. But just like that. Only different. She she sat at my feet as I'd write songs, and she had beautiful, beautiful brown eyes. And one day I I had this I had this. Well, it was more like this. And I had a little bit of an idea. Don't know when I've been so blue. Don't know what you know. And I went, don't it turn my rainbows blue? And I stopped and I went, oh, Richard, you still got it, big guy. I gotta tell you, man, that's good. And I looked down at Amanda, named after the first song that I ever heard when I got to town in 1974, Amanda, written by the great Bob McDill. She's looking up at me like that. And she's gotta go outside, so her eyes are a little more open than you. you. And I go, wow, brown eyes turning blue. I went, how cool would that be? Don't it make my brown eyes blue? I went, no, that's too commercial. I let the dog out. She ran around, did her business. I started thinking, that is kind of catchy. Don't it make my brown By the time she came back, I came around to her way of thinking. And I wrote it that way. It's number one. It was up for all kinds of Grammys. Two for me, two for Crystal, one for the producer. It was number one pop song, number one country song. Huge thing. Millions and millions of record sales. And it was big. I'm glad that, you know, she was so important to me. And well, years, years later, she she was chasing this trash truck that always came by our house. And there was a guy hanging off the back of it. And he chucked a rock at her and hit her right in the eye. Well, the weirdest thing is nothing happened at first. I didn't notice it, but a few days later, I noticed a trickle of blood and I took her down to the the vet, and uh, he took a look at her. He said, "Ah, oh, man, doesn't look good. Amanda's gonna lose the uh, sight in that eye." And I said, "Bummer." He said, "Yeah, that's not. Nice. Darts do it all the time. They're fine." And I went, "Oh man, you don't know who this dog is, though." I mean, well, she went blind in that eye, and the weirdest thing. Dog goes blind, their eye turns blue. So Amanda's brown eye turned blue. And I got a real chill factor thing that came all over me. I was just so roughed up by that, it hurt me. So when uh, she finally did die many years of, later of natural causes, and, and the, uh, they asked me, Do you want to? us to save her body until you get back from vacation. I said, no, just save me her collar. He said, yeah, that's all I want. And I went down to pick up the collar when she came back. I mean, when they came back and I got back. And I went into my house and I went to my award shelf where I had my little thing, wonderful things that music business has given me. And I hung her little blue collar over the Grammy for Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue where it sits today. So I want to sing this song for Amanda, who I love so much, and for you, who I love even more. You all were wonderful. Thank you for, for the love you sent my way. The kindest thing you can ever do for another human being I once learned is listen to them. And you have listened to me so kindly and for so long. God bless you. Here's Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue.
don't know when I've been so blue Don't know what come over you You found someone new And don't it make my brown eyes blue But I'll be fine when you're gone I'll just cry all night long Say it isn't true And don't it make my brown eyes blue Tell me no secrets Tell me some lies Give me no reasons Give me alibis Tell me you love me, don't let me cry, say anything, but don't say goodbye, cause I didn't mean to treat you bad, didn't know just what I had. Good night, everybody. God bless. Thanks.